we are back for our first spending check-in for January. Yay! <laughs> now, I will say, for the first week in January, I got my new spread. So, I have my new big happy planner for the year. I went with the puppy theme. I just think it's adorable. <laughs> so, with this one... I already have the dates labeled. I didn't use any sticker pack or anything like that. I'm just keeping it very simple. I'm still using my little trackers from Snow Gardener 307, which I love because they're color coded based on the category, etc. So what did Tracy spend the first week? While well, there's a snowstorm and we got 14 inches of snow dropped on us and our mailbox is covered up to our heads and we didn't go shopping. <laughs> So, with all that in mind, I had a really good spending week. Like, really good. <laughs> I'm, like, super excited to share it because we did so good. So good. Granted, we were, like, stuck in our house, but we did so good. Okay. So, on the 1st of January, so New Year's Day, we went to our Cheers. So, that is our favorite bar restaurant. Everyone knows our name. Um, we spent $40, and this $40 came out of cash. So I'm starting to budget $100 a week for us to spend on going out. And that can be for any takeout, food, um, drinks, etc. However, for the month of January, my husband wants to do dry January. So we're not drinking at the bars. <laughs> and you're like, Tracy, but you drank on the first. Yes, we weren't starting it until the second. Okay, we gave ourselves the first. <laughs> so we got had our drinks. We had a great time, 40 bucks. None of that went on the credit card. None of it. Ah, so good. Okay, Monday, we went to High V and we spent $120. We had to stock up on food because we knew a snowstorm was coming. We got dumped on. <laughs> but we had bought food, 120 bucks. Great. The third stayed home. What are you going to do? Like the plows hadn't come through yet. There wasn't anything for us to buy. We just kind of hunkered in. We weren't going out for drinks. So no spend day. Yes. <laughs> Wednesday. Okay. This is where my husband's starting to get cooped up. So he went on to Amazon and I bought him these sleep pants from for Christmas and he loves them. So he decided, I want three more pairs. Okay, well, he had a gift card, so he did use the gift card towards part of it. But the rest of it came out, um, that was $55. <laughs> and then while he was on Amazon, he's like, hey, we've been cutting my hair at home. I should buy one of those capes and a nice little scissors. Can you see it? <laughs> $42 for hair cutting supplies. And I think I did a really good job. It's my third time doing it. Um... I feel like I'm getting better each time, and it's saving us a lot of money by doing it this way. Hair cutting supplies, 42, and clothes for 55. What? So we still haven't left the house at this point <laughs> because we're snowed in, but we did Amazon ordering. Thursday, no spend. Yes, two in a week. Fantastic. This is already off to a better start. What? A third one? <laughs> I know. I am just as shocked as you are. Trust me. Um, I'm doing this challenge with Autumn at Budgeting After 40. And she's like, you need to do 10 no spends in a month. And I laughed because I was like, yeah, there's no way. However, by us not going out to the bar and out to eat as much and a snowstorm trapping us indoors, that has helped me a lot. I'm already a third of the way <laughs> to my no spend goal. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Saturday, everything's, like, all the roads are good now. We're getting out of the house. We're cooped up. We got things we want to do. Totally fine. <laughs> so we decided we were going to treat ourselves to five guys for lunch. So that was $30. So out of the $100 that I've allotted for us to spend that week, we've spent 70 out of the 100 which is awesome. I'm going to keep carrying forward the money because it's just – Going out to eat and um, bars, restaurants, entertainment stuff, it's just our thing. So I'm not going to limit that beyond 
Like, I'm not going to take that money out and then restuff it into a sinking fund. Like, I'm just going to keep that one rolling because we are going to use that money. All right. <laughs> we went to the hardware store for $70. Um, we had to buy those ice melt pucks. So if you live in a snowy state and you own a house, so on your roof, you can get ice dams that build up. So they sell these little pucks that you throw up there to help melt the ice to help with ice dams. So we got that along with a few other things that we wanted to do around the house. And then I went to the container store, which I love that store. Love that store. Um, but I'm not rich. <laughs> However, I got a $100 gift card for Christmas to the container store. So I told my husband, I was like, can we go to the container store? <laughs> He's like, sure. And so I spent my whole $100 on a gift card, but we spent an extra $25. So with taxes, and then he threw in a couple items that he wanted to. So $25 out of our check card did not go on the credit card. We are seriously motivated this month. Okay, and then finally, we went to um, a, another grocery store, and we picked up $70 worth of stuff. We had plans of certain dinners we wanted to make, and so we needed additional ingredients. But that's it. This is all of my spending for the entire week. <laughs> I even did this cute little thing. I was like, I'm going to track how much we spent in a week. $452. That's it. That is amazing. And half of that went to groceries which is right on par with what we normally spend for groceries, which is about $400 every two weeks. So super happy, super, super happy. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a double dose video for you guys. Since I didn't have a whole lot in here, I am also going to stuff my sinking funds. Okay, I got this cute little tracker from Melissa at Budget Stuff Save Repeat. She bought it for me from Helpful Little Files. I thought it was super cute. We finished three saving challenges on my last video, which totaled $256. So we, what I do is when I finish a challenge, I take these and I put them into my sinking funds. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to stuff our sinking funds with saving challenge money. Yay! We just need the money. So Battleship, we saved $165. So let's stuff our sinking funds. Yay! <laughs> For those that don't know, I use all my savings challenges to funnel money into my sinking funds for the year. I put the sinking funds in order of when they will come up. And then as that period ends, I move them to the back, etc. So we're going to start with recreation first. This one currently has $70 in it. We are going to add 40. Recreation is money for my husband and I to use to do um, just different activities throughout the months, years, quarters, etc. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 110 dollars. And this is a revolving. This one, we take money out. We add money in. So we recently went to a comedy show. So we took money out. Now we're trying to fill it back in again. <laughs> this is different than like date night where we do restaurants, bars. These are like actual activities just to differentiate. Tabs. Okay. This one, I need $50 put in. So 20, 40, 50. And that will give us a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 160. So my tabs are going to be $60 and they're due this month. So I'm going to go and do that. My husband's tabs are $440 and they are due in June, I believe. So I need to start bulking this up for when his tabs are due. So now we have mine covered, fully funded, and we have $100 towards his, which is awesome. Taxes is fully funded. That's for our tax prep. Board games, I haven't finished one of those, but we got money in there. We're sitting pretty good. Winter getaway, we've decided not to take one this year in the pursuit of debt payoff. <laughs> so we had $1,000 set aside and we decided not to put it towards that and to put it towards debt payoff. 
So I'll move that one to the back, but we just wanted to give it its moment. <laughs> All right, landscaping. We are gonna do $40 and I will update the trackers on my own time. So landscaping now is 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 105 dollars. So what we use landscaping for is every spring, we have stuff that we need to do around our house to prep it again after the snow melt, which is sometimes putting a new mulch, it's putting new planters in our, like flowers in our planters. Um, all that stuff adds up. So we usually spend about $300 um, might be a little bit more depending on if we take on a heavier project, but I just want to get this one started. All right, birthdays. We are going to put in $60 into this one. Birthdays, we spend a lot of money on birthdays. 20, 40, 60. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. One, two, three, four, five hundred and forty five dollars. So my intent with birthdays is for my husband and I's birthday. So we'd split it each. Um, I think I allocated three hundred dollars for each of our birthdays. So my goal is to get it to six hundred dollars. We like to do whatever you want. So like on your birthday, it's kind of your once a year splurge day to do with the things that you love. So for me, I would probably go get a massage. I will pick up my favorite restaurant for a meal. I'll pick up a nothing bunt cake, the gluten-free one as my treat. And for me, like that's the perfect birthday. For my husband, it will be going to different restaurants, um, bars, meeting up with friends. We've done an arcade place before. So he likes to like get out and do fun activities. And I like to do like pamper self-care stuff. <laughs> But we're saving up for birthdays, so we're getting there. We Mother's Day. This is my first time stuffing Mother's Day. So we are going to put $40 into Mother's Day. This one I want to save up um, at least $150 because I have three moms to buy for. I have my mom, my stepmom, and my mother-in-law. And we do about $50 bucks per mother. Father's Day. This one we're just getting started. We're just going to do 20 bucks, 5, 10, 15, 20 dollars for now. This one I do a little bit more. So this one I want to save 250 dollars. The reason is we host Father's Day and we usually do some sort of a barbecue grill out. So I want to allocate food money in addition to buying for three dads. So my dad, my stepdad, and my father in law. <laughs> which would be $50 each plus $100 for food. So our goal is to get $250. And then State Fair, we're not quite doing yet. So we have $6 left, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because I have extra dollars, whenever I have like loose money like this, I'm gonna put it in this night out envelope that I got in Happy Meal from Brenda Conchola. And it's so cute, I love it. So now I would have $16. And I just want to slowly save this up so that we can do maybe a fancy night out for our anniversary or something like that. Um, the hole punch doesn't quite line up 100%, so I might have to repunch this to fit it in here. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. But that's it. So we took $256. Oh, I can't close it because of that thing. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, I just got beefy. <laughs> <laughs> we took $256 from our savings challenges and we stuffed our sinking funds. So this is how I do it, guys. I do savings challenges and I stuck my stuff my sinking funds with them. And slowly throughout the year, we save up all the money that we need. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.